In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a weekly list of who's working from your schedule that you've created in Excel. So this, the advantage of this as opposed to this, so this is our standard issue uh, schedule that we've been creating for a while. Now this, this is good, but this, the other way, the other way you also have more opportunity to manage, manage your staff. You can write in notes in here, say so came in late this morning. You can, um, now this doesn't have to be the full number. This can be uh, location number, or could be the station number, anything so that you're able to track your employees where the, when they're working in the night or the morning. At the end of the week, you might want to save this sheet separately on uh, another sheet and so that you can keep keep track of all the notes that you have on employees like if if this employee too came in late all the time you might want to keep keep documentation on that and so they could come up as a review or so on below the word staff management i have uh the date february 28th and that's a monday and so if we drop this down we we have uh the rest of the the Mondays within the schedule period. Now, um, how I did this is I went to data validation on the data tab. I um, selected from the data validation, I selected list and I said equals Monday. And so I have created a range and I called it Monday. So if I click here and get Monday, you see this is all the three uh, or the, all the num Mondays for the schedule period. And so that's how I did that. Now, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to go to another month or another week, the next week, first of all, you're going to lose if you you're going to lose your 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 notes here. So if we go to the next week and we go update, then the notes are gone, and you have um, different people working different shifts, but the whole the whole thing down. Now from this schedule. You see that there was a lot more people than we have on our, there's a lot more people, but I have only included the people that are actually on a shift. The ones that are off have been omitted. So you don't need to have a list of people that are off. You just need to have a people, a list of people that are on. Okay, so let me show you the code on how I did this. So I've called my little uh, sub as staff management. I've declared week as a date. And then I've declared uh, all the days of the week as long, column and day as long, last row and R is for long, and end row as long. Now, the first thing I do is I clear sheet. So let's just run down and I'll show you what that, that um, clear sheet, what it does is it not only removes the data from the, from the cells, but it takes out the interior color so that when you put in another week in there, it's not going to overwrite and you're not going to have cells colored green all over the place. Okay, so let's go back to the top of our um, of our thing. So now we've cleared the sheets and now it's declared end row of sheet two, which is that. So we're looking for the first blank row and the last row of sheet one. And that's the last person or the last person that's on our schedule. Now what it's doing is it's going from week, which is our first date. It's taking that week and it's going to sheet one and it's looking for that, that uh, date value on our sheet. Now, when it finds that day, whatever the column, the column number is, is it going to equal the day? And then we call um, shifts, which includes when we're bringing with it, when we call shifts, we're bringing the day that we're just determined and we're bringing the last row that we've calculated above here. So now let's go look at um, our, our sub called shifts. So here we go, shifts. And so now um, what is going is from row four to last row, every time it finds an M in the morning, it's going to put in, it's, it's going, an M it's going to put in the word morning from there and then it's going to put in the employee name and it's going to put in their phone number as well and the same thing repeats for afternoon and and night so let's go back to our 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 main code here okay so then what we do is we run through until we get all the shifts in there 
and then we'll go to the next section, which is called Tuesday. And then we have to determine where our end row is again, just because it has changed. With the sheet um, cells, cells end row two and end row three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge those, and then we're gonna center the word Tuesday. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, we're gonna format the cells um, below the word Tuesday here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call um, the format day sub, and we're including the end row that we've calculated. So let's go look at our format day. So with the format day, we're setting up the day header so that they're all the same. Um, so we have the phone numbers and we have it in bold. We have them, so we have the employee and then we have that as bold. And then we have um, the shift, whatever shift they're in. And then we have notes. And then the last thing we do is we uh, change the color of the background of all these cells to green. Okay, so now what we do is we, we continue all of the, these exercises until we get to the end of our days. And there we have our shift information transferred from our, our, our horizontal shift into a weekly who's working on which day. I will, of course, include all of the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.